The morning of the accident, I was up early in the morning. I usually ride before I go to work at the hospital, and the whole ride felt super eerie. I kept riding and I was, um, I turned right. Then the next thing that I know, I was in a ditch. 911, what is the address of the emergency? Couldn't see me, couldn't see my bike. Sort of was in and out of it, and I remember um, hearing somebody say my name. Over here, we got it right here. And, and opening my eyes and seeing Taylor. Over here, we're gonna take really good care of you, okay? You're gonna be all right. Hey guys, we're gonna need a splint for this arm and a seat call And I right away. just started crying. If I'm safe in any, like I'm in the best possible hands ever and now I can like relax. Best part of going to work in the morning is you never know what the day is gonna bring. And that is exciting and challenging all at the same time. If you live by our values, you're gonna be a great fit here. So resiliency, if you have integrity, if you're a compassionate person, if you treat people with respect, if you're optimistic, and if you have humility, or if you're a humble person, then you will be very successful here because those are the traits that we seek out in our folks, and those are the values that we hold dear as an organization. The culture of this department is one that breeds top-notch firefighters and paramedics. We take a lot of pride in our cardiac arrest survival rates and all the good works that we do in the community and that's something that something I'm really proud to be a part of. Awesome. On the second floor. That small town feel, that commitment, um, that's what keeps me here and I'm very blessed to be a part of that. Ben Fire is an all hazards risk response agency. We handled fire, the EMS, hazardous material calls, we offer technical rescue services. We have a river that runs through our town. We have some cliffs. What we're doing here is performing a reach and treat evolution. The goal of this evolution is to make access to the patient, stabilize the scenario, and then from there we can figure out a plan on how we're gonna best remove the victim. We have a robust community education campaign and that translates into schools, not only for fire education and fire safety, but also the greater message of you know, what your fire department does. And, and that's an opportunity for us as well to tell our story. I think one thing that has really evolved with us is take our job seriously, but not ourselves too seriously. We have crews that are doing yoga together. We're exercising together. We're sharing meals. Prior to becoming a firefighter, I was a barber for quite a few years. And so still doing haircuts to this day. We have people that are very talented in the mountains or they like to fly fish. And all of those makes them better employees when they do come to work because they get to work in this fantastic environment, but they're doing a challenging job in a place that's really fun to do that job. Being able to provide for our community is, is you know, at the root of, of our success and what we do. Best part about this team is that the people that I work with all take a great deal of pride in being professionals and treating the community with compassion and that's very important to me. It has given me so much opportunity, growth, motivation, and also humility, which has uh, I think really been, been beneficial to shape me as a person. I have an unbelievable amount of peace living in Central Oregon knowing that there are first responders. They're exceedingly passionate. They, they love what they do and they love serving this community, but more importantly, they love to be good at what they do. I have zero questions as to the safety of myself, my children, my husband, our community. 